Okay, so I don't really want to sound uh, very alarmist lah, and uh, like those kind of fear porn kind of guys lah. But uh, if you haven't been living under a rock, uh, everything is red uh, for the past few days, okay. And uh, although the technical say that is still I- I intact lah, the the whole thing is still intact lah. But when I look at the market movers and I see SVB Financial lost about sixty percent of its value, I am also a bit shocked lah. And not only that, all the other banks are uh, swap, uh, FRC, SBNY, and Zion. Ten uh, percent is not a small amount, lah. So you're gonna ask me, uh, hey, what's happening, bro? Okay. So what's happening is a uh, very simple. Okay, I help you look at the whole thing already. What the fuck is going on with the thing? This SIVB is a ten k, lah. Okay. So. F- for simplicity sake, okay, what's the Fed rate? The Fed rate means you borrow money from the other banks, right? At what rate lah? Okay. So these guys own SIBB owns uh, interest earning assets that yields about one point four four, one point five nine, da 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 da. Then you're gonna ask me, holy shit, okay? Now that the Fed rate is going to go five percent, right? Or expected to go five and a half, or even six, okay? Are we screwed? Right? Aren't these guys screwed? Right? Let's say it's six, and the Fed and the banks have to give a interest rate of a CD, a CD a certificate of deposit rate of about. Maybe five point five, if it goes six, okay. So they are good. They will be underwater. How they earn money, right? Okay. So this, uh, you, okay. How how are you gonna earn money when uh, okay, it's like that, right? So at the end of the day, your yield, your 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 aggregate yield from uh, you lend the thing money. You have to uh. Your funding uh, and your lending, uh, the yield, your lending yield must be higher, lah, bro. That's how it works, okay. And we can see it's been nuts, lah. The yield has been going up, 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 up. Okay, this one never go up, lah. <laughs> so this up, down, up. Okay. So what's happening now is uh, Armageddon. The banks Armageddon. Okay, so they are underwater. We don't know how much of this is uh, floating. We don't know how much of this is f- fixed. If it's fixed, then they are royally screwed. If this is, if the funding sources is floating, then they are probably gonna go bankrupt soon, right? Because if this floating, this is float, and this will go up. No, no, I mean if this floating, this will float and this will go up. And if this fix, right, they are screwed because the interest earning, they are only earning about uh two point seven three lah. Right, is it two point seven three? Yeah, two point seven three percent lah. That's the thing. Okay, and meanwhile, the funding sources now would have gone up to about uh, four, four point five, five. I don't know. Okay, so after I see the, I think really, and like, wow, this dangerous man. Okay, what if, okay, the silver bank one is not exactly common. Or, s- or 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 just located in silver bank. What if other banks like silver bank? They are actually very. They own a lot of these low yielding uh, government bonds or tra- or fixed income assets. They were yielding very low, and suddenly now after the rates gone up, they got discounted heavily, and they cannot do things not like this. Okay. So they say that 
banks earn money when interest rates go up. Is that true? No. Okay. Banks start to earn money when interest rates go down, not go up. Okay. And it cannot be too fast because they cannot make the lending happen. Right. So they can make money when interest rates go down, not go up. So what happened is, I don't know what's happening here. I am assuming, okay, uh, we look at this and uh, we see that they have to, they are going to raise some capital. Uh, 1.25 billion, is it? Uh, 1.25 billion, uh, okay. They are raising uh, 1.25 billion, it's not a lot. La. Compared to their market cap, it's not like it's like it's not one hundred percent or what la. right? Wow, I'm just the price target is three hundred dollars. I am laughing. Okay, so. Uh, not only they are raising uh, capital over the 1.25, uh, they are also uh, doing uh, 10 million uh, depository shares uh, in which uh, is one or 20 of share in our uh, mandatory uh, preferred stock. Okay. Just Google what is a uh, depository shares. Uh, you guys can take a look, lah. Okay. Because honestly speaking, I don't know what's depository shares also. Okay. So basically. Is representing one twentieth of their preferred share, la, basically. Solely to cover over allotments. Yeah, yeah. The way I see, is not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not really a uh, groundbreaking or what lah. Mm. Now, uh, first of all, uh, this company is uh, not going bankrupt or anything lah. The way I see it la. if they are still, uh, they still can manage to do this. I think this can go up uh, even. Okay. I think this can go up lah. Honestly speaking, this can go up. But 70% share drop is crazy, man. Fuck. Okay. So, after we look at this, uh, and we see how they need to raise their capital. Uh, okay. I think uh, it's not only uh, local to SVB. Uh, I think others will also kena uh, in other words, they will need to raise capital the way SBB did. Okay. Why? Because they need to take the capital and lend it out. Lah. You see, no? you all see. No? Okay. To make up for this uh, lack in uh, yield. Okay. The yield profit. Nah. They have to earn a profit on the yield, right? So far, this one, they have been earning well. It's 2.73 versus 0 0.57. This is good. Okay, now when the thing changes suddenly, okay, we don't know how much of this is fixed, how much of this is fixed, how much is this floating. It's kind of fucked up, lah. Okay. Uh, 
not only that there's going to be a lot of npl coming if there's going to be a lot of uh recession la. because a sudden rate hike for these floating guys they're going to be some npl out there la. definitely yeah. now this raises the overhang of a spectre from the 2008 financial crisis when uh mortgages uh, were actually higher than the value of the house. Uh. The value of the mortgages were actually higher value than the house. And a lot of the homeowners, they just walk away. Okay. And I think a lot of people were talking about how uh, the financial crisis that time, uh, a lot of people, they walk away from their houses and all that stuff. And they, a lot of these guys, they form up this uh, Reddit uh, Wall Street Bats community to fight against the hedge funds and the banks and all the well, all, all, all that nonsense. The truth is, uh, actually, the one that uh, got the end, the uh, the bad part of the stick is actually the bank also got the bad part of the stick, lah. Basically, okay, because. You know, we lend you money, you never pay back, you never pay us back, and then you walk away. And you lose the house, uh, your house will kena uh, repossess, uh, right? Foreclosure. Okay. If you don't get foreclosed, you pay the interest, lo, very easy, right? So, it's not rocket science, la, okay? It's just that they were borrowing money uh, using the adjustable uh, rate mortgage. That's why. Suddenly the rate now uh, go up, and then, okay, like that. So what I see is a massive drop in housing prices soon. Okay, a uh, massive drop in housing prices because a lot of these guys are gonna foreclose, especially those uh, they are using adjustable rates. So adjustable adjustable rate guys are gonna die. Those they use fixed rate is going to. Mm, have the last laugh lah, the one that, that, that had the fixed rate uh, during the 2021-2022 crisis 2020-2021, they're gonna have low rates, they're gonna have the best rates uh. Okay, so this is a cycle uh, Because From 0 0.5 you go to 5, that's fucking nuts man And all the loans the banks made when it was 0 0.5 will be underwater. Holy shit. It's nuts, man. It's crazy, I tell you. It's going to reverberate uh, throughout the economy. Housing. Banking. And... Now, I, now, I, now when we look at this, we start to piece it together and we see, hey, this has the makings of a major crash, you know. Okay. So, I believe that the stock market, uh, SPY, this is my prediction uh, for SPY now. I have to change my prediction based on events. Uh, right? Techni technicians are like that one. They always change their mind. Okay. I believe that this will go down to at least... Three seven six and a half now, or three seven six or three 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 seven eight three seven seven la, around there. Okay, that's what I believe. Ah, uh. okay, I'm calling it. Ah, uh. uh, I think the 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 is gonna drop to three seven eight. I'm calling it now. Uh. After I look at this and like, wow, this looks quite bad. Ah, uh. okay, three seven eight lah, three seven eight. That's my take. Okay. What about Google? Is Google screwed? Does Google has a lot of debt? Nope. Is Meta screwed? Does Meta have a lot of debt? Nope. Okay. Is Apple screwed? Does Apple have a lot of debt? Okay. What rate are they borrowing on? Okay. So right now, uh, this one the times uh, to be uh, bearish on uh, rates. Uh. Be bearish on rates. Uh. Be bullish on uh companies that have a lot of cash la. okay a lot of cash a lot of cash flow can tahan can can bear the the, the pain uh, the recession that's going to come la. 
ok mm. yeah I think it's gonna go down this one I'm gonna touch this uh, I'm gonna make the shot later lah. I'm gonna make the shot later ok part of the reason why I think it's breach uh, MA150 the next indicator should the next that one should be uh, MA MA200 Well, MA200 also breached already Siao Liao Well, the next Is somewhere here lah The next uh, This is the uh, support lah 389 389 is the one that yesterday I I tried to take profit But the thing go up so I scared I just, you know uh, You know what? I'm going to re remove all my short position Okay So I remove my short position in uh, about this one four o something lah. I never get the best price lah. I'm sorry, I'm not God lah. Huh? I think I remove it about four o four lah around there. I never get the best price, okay. Uh, and but I already cover some somewhere here lah. Somewhere here I cover it. I I cover it four hundred. Okay. So the remaining one I was waiting for three eight nine never reach. Okay. But I, I, I caved in and I uh, sold at about 4 I shot, I, I covered my uh, shots at a 404 la. So please uh, I don't always get all the things right Okay I don't always shot At the highest price I don't always take profit At the Best price Okay so please uh, I'm not God Okay, I cannot predict the future. Okay. So yesterday, okay, what I did was funny. What happened was funny. This one I managed to get it right. So uh, I sold all my uh, long term VOO holdings. Uh. Sold all my long term VOO holdings. Then it came down after that. Uh, after I sold, I slapped that after it came down. Boom. VOO is uh, similar to SPY la, but smaller cost la. But it's less liquid So if you want to trade, don't trade VOO, trade SPY So I woke up but I, was, I see the market and I was like What the fuck? And I saw the SCI VB bank and I was like Wow, this is going to be a good content for today Okay, it's going to be a good content Okay Let's remember Okay Where's the yield part? La? Wait, where's the yield just now? What's this? So if you look at the at this thing uh, Okay, the first thing you gotta ask yourself uh, Is this going to go bankrupt or not? I don't think so really. I don't think it's gonna go bankrupt Okay But that was the problem Okay I think the part of the problem is It went up uh, so high uh. Uh, so much so that it's so much higher than 2019 prices Okay So part of the problem is The price It was Was crazy Number one That's it Okay So there was a cycle I think I think they got the, the cycle uh. I think there was a Boom cycle in the Silicon Valley lah at that time Oh That's why they managed to boost their revenue Tut 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 Huh? Okay And these Revenues <coughs> We don't know whether they are fixed We don't know they are uh, What's their yield We don't know Even if they are fixed What's their yield Okay And then the deposit rates You know the deposit rates now la, The cost of funds is quite high la, Okay I think it's about At least 4% la. At least I see uh, I see banks they are offering four percent already, uh, all over the place. Some even five. So 
I see a crisis that's brewing in the banks and I don't think this guy will go bankrupt okay but this guy is not cheap because uh, it's coming back down from a boom cycle uh, that's why I think so you all that think that uh, this thing is uh, overpriced or oh holy shit 70% discount bro let's go okay hey notice eh Pre-COVID is about this price, this is just the lowest price pre-COVID. I was like, oh shit. Right? Does it make sense what? Right? Does it make sense? No, le. doesn't make sense, le, bro. Okay. So what's the, yeah, the problem is it's not local, I think. I think it's not local. You saw the interest, right, just now. That's it for today. Okay, I hope you all got the message, yeah. Now, f for the other stocks that is uh, not heavily in debt, uh, no problem. Uh. Okay, if they got debt that is long term, uh, no problem, I think. That's all for today.